This Yahoo was sent in by a friend of the show, Emerald member Shaman Drew Davenport. Thank you, Drew. It's by Yahoo Answers user Angela, who asks, how to moan loud without being heard? Uh. Is there a way I can moan as loud as I can without being heard by my parents? What can uh. I do to achieve this? Any tips? Thanks. Uh. No, you don't remember what it's like out there. No, but here's the thing. I, uh, all of this makes me icky. It's just, uh, it's, 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 oh, okay, here's what bothers me the most about the phrasing of the question. Is if you are consciously going into it, say, I'm going to, I want to be as loud as I can. It seems disingenuous to me. Um, my problem with it is, is I don't like premeditated moaning. That's what I'm saying. That, that skeezes me out. But if I you don't, don't pre, like any if she doesn't pre-plan it, then when the moment comes, she's just going to do it and she's going to get caught. Of course, I've you have got I hate it. the idea that at any point during my day, if I meet a man or a woman, that somewhere in the back of their head they're thinking, "I'm going to moan tonight." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do so like well, I'm just. I need to, to get an acoustical day -day engineer in here and figure out how loud I can be. I gotta moan tonight. It's gonna be a time for to moan. Like I'm just trying to live my life, and if I could like <laughs> keep that question out of strangers' heads as I'm trying to just like go about my <laughs> business and hit up the Jiffy Lube, yeah. and ask for donations mm -hmm. for my church group, like while you're thinking about how hard you're gonna moan, mm. I had, I, that would, I really appreciate it. Um, I actually it, thought of the best answer though. I, I thought of a good answer, and now I'm going to feel guilty saying it because you guys are trying to moan shame me. No, you go ahead, because I've got an answer, too. And I think we might be thinking the same thing. My answer is when you moan, you have to moan as loud as you can the melody to the song Tarzan Boy by Baltimore. And we were not thinking the same <laughs> oh, thing at shit. all. Okay. <laughs> but, it, but I'm saying if you, if you get your moan on with a partner and you, like, uh Oh boy! Oh. Oh. <laughs> then your parents are just gonna be like, "Here she goes again with Baltimore." Man, she fucking loves that song. Can you update it? Oh, 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 <laughs> Can I tell you something? Every time I hear that song, I think it's gonna be Tarzan Boy. I get excited for like a second. <laughs> pumped, right? I get fucking excited for a second. I'm like, "Fucking Baltimore is back! Why are they playing this in the Chipotle?" Ah, oh, fucking! It's that. Ugh. That one's that one. Uh, so yeah, Travis, what was I yours? Was, I was gonna say, and it's gonna take it's gonna take a little work, but maybe just make like cue cards. Cue cards, so, like, like in the fucking just, Love Actually film. You just like hold up a sign that just says like whoa, <laughs> right? But you don't say it, but you like put it in the face of, of your partner. Pleasure. It's like, I just want you to know, and like point to it really emphatically. It's like this now. This now is what I'm feeling. And maybe like do it like in uh, like glitter and glue. Yeah, so like yeah. it really shows that you put some time in, not just like a Sharpie on poster board, but maybe like make it a thing, like a diorama of pleasure. Have one that like, says like too much teeth. Little to the left. Night to night. Give me the other, give me the other. You can have that on one. <laughs> we want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. And then you can use it for multiple occasions. John, why do you have a sign that says John 316? What am I supposed to get out of that? <laughs> just don't mix those up. Do not take that to WrestleMania 48. And then just like hold up a big sign when the rock is suplexed. And it says like, I'm coming real good on it. <laughs> I love the way you're using your wiener. And, it's, and be, super su be super double careful if you're a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Because mm -hmm. you, are, you are headed towards some really sticky territory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm getting mixed signals. Are you protesting or are you a big fan? <laughs> if you hold up a sign that says I'm in sticky territory, uh, it's going to be bad news bears. Well, it's going to be good news bears because you're terrible. 